Previously on Stingers. You'll need to be at your best for Thursday. Head of homicide interview. Oh, come on, Peach. He's going for head of homicide. I don't know anything about it. You sure I can't buy you that drink? Yeah, why not? Vodka tonic. Stop. Stop. I think I've been drugged. You sure you're okay to do this interview? I've got too much riding on it not to. Detective Senior Sergeant McKenzie, take a seat. Did it ever occur to you that you might possibly be allowing a convicted rapist the opportunity to rape again? I'm sorry. I have to leave. I'm sorry. This is a police matter. Can I please see your register? There's a booking under my name. Is there uh, anything you can remember? I don't remember any of this. and got hit of homicide. Mac? Yeah, yeah, you do a good job. McLaren's one unhappy chappy. He's anxious about something. He's got five million bucks worth of ecstasy sitting in a container somewhere. I'd say he's pretty anxious to get rid of it. They're on the move. We'll take Styles, you take McLaren. Can't be that Mac we're on him. Your life's on pause and everybody else is living theirs in fast forward. I'm gonna get a bug on this guy somehow. But doesn't this ever get to you? Days on end, sitting around waiting to stick a bug in someone's car. If it's not in the lockup at his office, it's in his garage at home. Look, maybe we could swing a recall, get him to drop it off at the dealer. Time or... to live dangerously. Hey, Ange, yeah, what are you. The only thing he saw was tire smoke. Yeah, as soon as it's wired, we'll dump it a couple of blocks from where it was taken and call it into D24. We'll put it down to Joyriders, we'll have his car back in a couple of hours. There must have been a better way. Oh, if we'd had a couple of weeks, maybe. 
Any luck with Styles? No, no chance there. Didn't think of stealing his car, though, eh? <laughs> um, no, the guy's uh, paranoid about being bugged. According to my informant, does sweeps in his office and home every day. McLaren's the weak link. Let's stick with him. When you've done his car, do his office. Yep. Fast cars, Armani suits. And a bar fridge full of verve. This guy does all right for an importer of ceramic pots. Yeah. He's probably got a 20 grand stereo and an HD TV as well. <laughs> Don't rub it in. I'm really starting to hate. Oh, there's more important things. Did anyone hear you? If anyone's monitoring at that time of night, I guess it's possible. Who else would bug his office? Drug squad? Well, they gave us this one. They're waiting until we turn something up. Yeah, then they'll step in and take the credit. The gear was pretty low tech. Could have been a competitor. What, someone trying to get the jump on garden gnome technology? Someone trying to do what we're doing. Find out where McLaren's got the missing container stashed. Well, maybe it was Styles himself. Maybe he just doesn't trust McLaren. Mac, we're away. The bug in McLaren's car just picked him up talking to the gatekeeper at the West Spencer container yard. West Spencer? Drug squad are looking at South Swanston. Looks like we found our missing container. Coming down. Please come in. Thank you. Congratulations on your appointment. You must be very pleased. It would have been a difficult decision for the panel to make. I'm sure they made the right choice. You withdrew from the running. Why was that? Personal reasons. You wanted to discuss the McLaren murder. You were working in conjunction with the drug squad targeting Styles and McLaren. That's right, we had them both under surveillance. And you put a bug in McLaren's office, but somebody already had one in there. It's in the report. And your people were heard. Uh, that hasn't been established. McLaren ended up with a bullet in his head. Seems a fair assumption. Let's make one thing clear. We didn't pull the trigger. Any idea who did? Well, we're working on the theory it was Styles. Any evidence to support that? No, but he'd be our prime suspect, given the investigation so far. Well, it's a homicide matter now. If you do hear anything, I'd appreciate you keeping me informed. Of course. You practically accused us of having McLaren killed and then told me to keep him informed. Asshole. What was that you said about him doing a good job? Never mind. He did tell me the only person the gatekeeper saw was McLaren. It has to be Styles. We got McLaren to open the container, he whacked him and took the drugs. Yeah, but why kill him? Because he heard me and Ange in McLaren's office last night. He knows the cops are on McLaren. A liability no longer. Bye-bye sports car boy. Well, if we work on this theory, then Styles must have contacted him to organise that meeting. Anything at all from the wiretap? No phone calls to McLaren's office for this morning. Hey, take a look at this. Someone's just gone into McLaren's office. The Quick and Clean Company, with a K. Cutting inside. The bugger removing his bug.
Here we go. Quick and Clean Company, sole proprietor, Martin Thomas Engel. Accessory to armed robbery, served two of a five year sentence, currently on parole. Good start. Okay, do a background on him. I want everything there is to know about Martin Thomas Engel. Oscar, go through those McLaren tapes again, just in case we miss something. I want to get this sorted so I can hand it to Harry Love on a platter. Danny, have you got a minute? I've been talking to Human Services and I think I've swung you a job at your local station. Admin. No ops, no street work. Should be perfect. Well, thank you. But I hadn't intended on a transfer. I thought I could stay here. Well, you're pregnant. Well, yeah, obviously I'm going to have to quit ops at some point, but I thought it would be my choice when I was ready. Officers can't perform active duty beyond three months, you know that. It's in the standing orders. Well, what about surveillance? I could work the combi. Mac, if I accept a transfer, I won't be back. You'll find someone to replace me and that'll be it. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll log tapes if I have to. Danny, this is an operational unit. If I can't have you out in the field, there's a problem. I need everyone at 100%. You sound like you've made up your mind. It's not a question of that. Hello? Yes, I was just about to call you. Yeah. Thursday. Take it from me. Don't get pregnant in an operational unit. Did she say pregnant? Danny's pregnant. Did you know? I'll go and see how she feels. She's been spewing in the convey. They're just afraid of getting sued. If you lose the baby on the job, you bet they are, yeah. You're not worried about that? What were you expecting? Does Mac know you're the father? I haven't said anything. Are you sure? <laughs> Why? Well, I just don't think she'll be that unhappy to see me go. Because of... You guys have a history, yeah? I've seen the way she looks at you. <sighs> no. Oh, come on, Pete. I'm not blind. She doesn't know about us, all right? So you can forget that for a reason. Anyway, she's not that vindictive. But Danny, it's the standing orders. You know that. Pete, I love this job, OK? I'm not going to roll over. That is crap. Danny, be realistic. I am being realistic. Look, I'd appreciate it if you didn't go talking to Mac about us, OK? Things are complicated enough. Got that right. Surveillance shots of Charlie Gallagher taken earlier this year. Check out the guy with him. It's Marty Engel, our friendly office cleaner. And this one at the Max Club, guy in the middle. Hey, he mixes in interesting circles. He knows half the crims in Melbourne. There's more. Joe Yen, JJ Lewis, that private club on Smith Street. Marty Engel was there. I knew I recognised the face. How come we've never pinged him before? He's always just been this anonymous guy in the background. Everyone's mate. Including Styles? He seems to know everyone else. <coughs> Hang on, this guy bugged the office. Maybe he knocked McLaren as well. Well, he's as much a suspect as Styles. Maybe he's doing dirty work for all these people. And then cleans up the mess. All right, I want someone on him. Get to know him, see what he'll give up. That's me. Is he married? Divorced. Single? Lives alone. Think you can hook him? Line and sinker. Are you, um, going to keep Harry Love informed? Eventually. Is this professional jealousy or does Love bring out the subversive in you? I just don't like his insinuations. Or him. I can read you like a book. Really? Maybe Marty Engels killed McLaren or maybe he's working for Styles. but when we know the answer to that, then I'll let Harry Love know. Go, Mac. <sighs> I thought Danny had sworn off blokes. I sworn at them, maybe. Never off them. <laughs> well, she's done more than swear at someone now. <laughs> you got that right. I wonder who. Money's on the move.
almost halfway across town to buy groceries. Leo's? This is one of those pickup supermarkets. Oh? Bored housewives, divorcees, single guys. This is one of the places they come. <laughs> the fruit and vegetable section. And you know about this, Hal? I read it in a magazine. <laughs> A bunch of bananas in the top of the trolley means you're available. Oh, give me a break. You can't be serious. It was a serious magazine. <gasps> well, maybe he's here to pick up. Why not give it a shot? Fruit and veg. Well, far be it for me to call you boring, Ange. Bananas. In the baby seat. I really wonder about your taste in magazines, Oscar. Sorry. That's okay. You take it. No, no, it's fine. You take it. No, really, I can make something else. No, no, it's yours. You have it. Please, I want you to have it. And I want you to have it. <sighs> well, we're obviously cooking the same meal. Maybe we should have dinner together. Good luck. How do you mean? With the bananas. Good luck. Aren't they right? No, 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 they're, they're fine. So why would I need luck with the bananas? Uh, it was a dumb joke. Oh, I get it. You thought I was I'll trying to... Hit... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not why I shop here. Not me neither. <laughs> I come here for the calamari. Thai seafood curry? Not allergic to seafood, eh? Well, I love seafood. Oh, I've got the calamari. You've got the coconut milk. <laughs> I'm Jenny. Pleased to meet you, Jenny. I'm Marty. Marty. Yeah. I hear this place is famous for its calamari. Yeah, yeah. that and bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Marty Engel? Yeah? Detective Campbell, homicide. I'd like you to come into the headquarters and answer a few questions. What, Thanks, Mr. What, what is this? Mac, you are not going to believe this. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jenny. What's all this about? Oh, I've got no idea. This way, Mr. Engel. Um, I don't even know this man, OK? I just met him in the supermarket. So if you're going to ask me any questions We've or... We've got your details, Miss Matheson. We'll contact you if we need. You're free to go. Anyone recognise you? I don't think so. What the hell's going on? Love wants to interview Engel over McLaren's murder. How did he find out about Engel? No idea. How did you go with him? Good, he's cooking me dinner. Or he was. Okay, follow it up. Harry, what's going on? With what? You've just called in a suspect my operatives have under surveillance. And? But this could blow the operation. You should have told me you were looking at him. You did agree to keep me informed. It was a judgment call. I felt there was a little bit more to be gained by finesse. Let's see if that's the case. Mr. Engel, this interview will be recorded. I'm turning on the tape recorder now. 
Interview with Martin Thomas Engel, commencing 2.32pm. I'm Detective Inspector Harry Love. Do you know why you're talking to us, Mr Engel? Got no idea. Tell me about Brett McLaren. I clean his office. Are you aware he's dead? He was found yesterday in a shipping container in Altona with a bullet in his head. What can you tell me about that? I don't know anything about that. You see, I think you do. What were you doing in his office yesterday? Excuse me? You were seen leaving his office yesterday afternoon, after McLaren died. Mm. Yeah, I was cleaning it. Wasn't I? That's what I do, I'm a cleaner. In more than one sense of the word. I don't know what you're talking about. You cleaned McLaren, didn't oh, you? bullshit. You bugged his office, you knew he was moving in a shipment of ecstasy, you thought you'd take a cut of the action, so you intercepted him with the drugs, then killed him. No, you're talking to the wrong guy. Really? And to whom should I be talking? Can you confirm your whereabouts yesterday between the hours of midday and three? Yeah, I was at the pictures. A 12 o'clock session at the Westgarth. Anyone corroborate that? Mm -hmm. I was with my daughter. It's an access weekend. I dropped her home at four o'clock. And she can confirm that? Yeah, but there's no need to bring her into it. I got the ticket stubs if you want to see them. I think I'd prefer to hear it from your daughter. Emily, isn't it? Your father? Your kids? You'd drag a 13-year-old girl into this. You can keep her out of it, if you cooperate. See, if you didn't kill McLaren, I want to know who did. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about that. Just so we're clear, you're on parole. Accessory to armed robbery. You've got 11 months to serve out. Yeah. It would be unfortunate to find you in breach, put you back inside. Yeah, like I said, I'm a cleaner. I was just doing my job. I don't think that constitutes a breach of my parole, does it? So if you blokes aren't going to charge me with something, I'm going. You're going to help us, Mr Engel. One way or another. Well, I think you can rule out Engel as a suspect. You want one? No, thanks. He might not have killed McLaren, but he can give a start. He won't respond to bullying. This is what we've got you lot finessing him. You just put him on notice. That's going to make our job a hell of a lot harder. Then you'll just have to work a hell of a lot harder, won't you? What, what is that music? Sorry? Uh, you're whistling something. I'm curious. It's a piece by Eric Sarti. It's for piano. This time I hope you will keep me informed. He was murdered. Yeah. Bit of a shock, really. Not that I knew him or anything. And the police brought you in to be questioned about it? Yeah. I had the cleaning contract for this guy's office. Why well, they wanted to talk to me. Thought it might have been your idea of a first date. That's why you waited for me. I wanted to see if you're all right. Jenny, I'm on parole. What for? Armed robbery. A few years ago, I got into a bit of financial strife. A mate of mine offered me a job with money, driving a car. It turned out to be a getaway vehicle. And you didn't know it was a robbery? Yeah, I knew. I needed the money. You shocked? No. It's all right if you are. People you meet in supermarkets, eh? It's usually about this point that women suddenly remember the urgent appointment they got somewhere else. Not me. Or not for another ten minutes. 
Hey, I still owe you dinner. Mm. How about tonight? I could cancel another appointment. Marty Engel's alibi checked out. He was with his daughter at the time of the murder. Puts him out of the frame as the shooter. But he's in the picture somewhere. I was wondering, um, if you wanted to hook up after work for a drink at the local? Tonight? Oh, if you're busy. And... 7.30, okay? <laughs> yeah, great. Hey, um, why don't we go out for dinner instead? We could go to... Tiama? Tiama. How's Danny travelling? She told you about a transfer. Oh, yeah. She blames me, obviously. Bearer of bad news, I suppose. I couldn't do anything. Well, the standing orders, I know. Anyway, look out for her, will you? I think she needs all the support she can get right now. Sure. I don't think she wants it from me. Don't be too hard on yourself. It wasn't you that got her pregnant. What, you did? <laughs> I feel like an idiot. I'm sorry. So let me guess, that was going to be the dinner conversation. I would have preferred to have told you over a few drinks. I didn't say this, I didn't. Mac, I'm sorry. You know, it, was, it was just one of those things. You know, I didn't plan any of this. You could have given me a hint. There was something to let me know I was... I thought we were... <sighs> I know. And you played along. You said nothing to me, not a single word. The time just didn't seem right. I am sorry. Well, now I know. You told her. What'd she say? She expressed surprise. you did tell them nothing. And I reckon you're gonna go on telling them nothing. You've got a daughter, haven't you, in high school? You stay away from her, all right? You go anywhere near her and I'll... You what, Marty? You go to the cops? You, you, you've made me a murder suspect. I'm not, I'm not taking the rap for that. Neither am I. my girlfriend. You so much as breathe my name. Oh. Hi. Come in. Come in. Come in. Friend of yours? Oh, an acquaintance. Uh, give us a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. Emily, it's, it's Dad. Uh, listen, love, give us a call when you get this message. Uh, it's important, so, yeah, quick as you can. All right? Bye. Yeah. Are you OK? Yeah, just had to make a call. Come through. Marty, what's really going on? Nothing. What do you mean? 
I heard that guy yelling at you. Oh, that was a disagreement. No, it was a brawl. Don't worry about it. He was threatening you. Look, it was nothing. Don't go. Hey. Look, we hardly know each other at all, OK? So I've got no right to ask you to level with me. But don't expect me to get involved if you won't. Yeah. So when I was starting up the business, people tended to look at my prison record, and that was it. So most of my works ended up coming from my old contacts. Criminals? Yeah. Most of them. Oh. I clean for them. All right, that's it. <laughs> I'm a cleaner. And here and there I gather a bit of information. What does that mean? Oh, you know. What deal's going down where? Information's valuable. Hey, look, I don't do anything a private detective doesn't do. Or the police, for that matter. I don't do anything criminal. Nothing really heavy. And what's the difference? Criminal's something you get put away for. I didn't see my daughter for two years when I was inside. When I got out, she didn't want to know me. So I've tried to win her back gradually, ever since. And? Yeah, with partial success. She's the only thing that's good in my life. I never risked that again. You're a complex guy, Marty Engel. What about good looking? <laughs> Settle for complex. How would it go last night? Good. Styles was there when I arrived. Yeah? Yeah, put the frighteners on Marty too. Shook him up. Made him very happy to talk. Well, that might explain it then. Explain what? Well, these are the wiretaps from Marty's phone this morning. He made three phone calls. He's got a daughter, hasn't he? Yes. Yeah. Have a listen. This guy came up to me. He said he was a friend of yours. Oh, yeah, and he said to say hi from Styles. What did Marty say? Nothing to the kid. But he gets straight off the phone and makes this call. I've got to have the thing now. Give me two hours. Cash money. Who's he talking to? Eddie Peel. Deals in illegal guns. And the third call? Was to Styles to set up a meeting. Marty's going after him. Sounds awful like it. Pete, no sign of Marty back at the house? I've got nothing. Danny confirms no action at Styles' place either. Okay, I'm almost at his bar now. See ya. Here it is. You see Styles? Let me know. What if he's already in there? Talk to me, Ange. Yeah, I'm inside. There's no sign of him. Marty? Marty? Jenny? Marty, I know what you're doing here. How the hell did you... There's no way you're going to get away with this, Marty. Shit. You're a cop. Yeah. Yeah, and right now you need me. And we got company. Stars. You stole him. Your car, mate? Of course it's my car, you stupid prick. Sorry, I lost sight of it in the rear view. Shut the rear view up your ass. Have a look at that. We walk out of here now, Marty. 
And no one ever has to know what you came here for, right? That you ever had a gun. I can protect you. No. Not interested. Don't be an idiot, Marty. How the hell are you going to get away with it? Or you're going to kill me too, is that it? He's going to hurt Emily. I can protect you Crap. and... I... You're just going to have... Trust you? Yeah. I said I'm sorry, all right? It was an accident. Like I said, my insurance is good. I hope so. Andy. He's coming in. How old's Emily going to be when you get out of prison for this, eh? Forty? At least you'll be in one piece. I can do that for her. I can protect her. So can I. Now put the gun down, Marty. How are you going to protect Emily? We've got someone watching her now. All right, she's under constant surveillance. Styles won't get near her again. Well, that's what all this has been about. You came sniffing around to get me to give you Styles. He's a murderer, Marty. Yeah. Yeah, he is. And if he found out I helped you, he would get to Emily. He'd find a way. We can see to it that he doesn't find out. All right, but you've got to help us. Or what? Oh, well, we've got you as an accessory to murder. You'll go back inside with Styles. You really are something. Haven't left me with a real lot of choices, have you? So you'll help us? Styles paid me to bug McLaren's office. What Styles didn't know is that I bugged his office as well. Yeah, but he sweeps for bugs every day. Yeah. With a sweeper that I sold him. And you've got a tape? Be there when we're ready. Hey, I've got a quarter mill with the ceramics sitting in that container too. Styles talking to McLaren. If we move now, we'll attract attention. I don't give a rat's. My business is going to shit. I'm getting the stuff out of there. Understand? Okay, let's do it. Three o'clock tomorrow. Taped on the day before the murder. Well done. I think it's time we hand it over to Homicide. Yeah, one small problem, Mac. If we put Marty on the stand, Styles will go after his daughter. Yeah, I sympathise, but we need Marty as a corroborating witness. The tape's inadmissible. It was recorded without a warrant. Yeah, but there is another way without burning Marty. OK, I'm listening. I got a warrant here for Styles' office that hasn't been executed. Now, we could have used it to record this tape. Then I'd better sign it. That's against procedure, isn't it, Mac? A man with Marty's contacts is a lot more useful to us out in the street, under your supervision. Mm. Yeah. Marty? Marty, we need to talk. Not interested. You don't have any choice. You're on parole. You had a gun. What, so my ass is yours now? Is that it? We can pay you, more than you make cleaning. I'll be in touch. Yeah, I guess you will. sent me transfer papers. As if this whole thing is a foregone conclusion. It is. Mac, I don't believe it's an unreasonable request to want to remain in this department on, on light duties. I believe I'm being discriminated against because of my pregnancy. And if they want to reclassify me, I'm going to take the police force to equal opportunity. You realise that may not be a wise career move. Well, I'm standing up for what I believe in. They'll fight this. And so will I. Will I have your support? Yes. 
Then I can stay, pending the outcome of the hearing. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Thanks. <laughs>